What's up guys? I'm back with you right now. I just came back from a nice walk. Uh, the weather is getting actually a little bit better. It was extremely muggy and extremely humid. That's what you get when you live in the Midwest. I still love Ohio. Either way, with that being said, uh, I want to address a couple of things, especially with one. Let me start with the first one, which is the uh, Goldman Sachs grading, the uh, grading AMC at 175 a share. And it's I take this as a big insult, honestly, because <laughs> there have been all, all, all of these analysts have and all these agencies have been rating us at a you know 50 cents at a dollar at a penny all that kind of stuff three years later now you get this and it's kind of like an insult kind of like they're having fun with it uh, because we know who Goldman is and what their role is within within our play and within the meme stock in general uh, world play or role is so um, I don't buy too much into it Either way, however way you want to look at it, whether you like to hear something like that or not, I guess it, hurt, it doesn't hurt to have something that is at least on the, our, our side to the upside. Uh, another thing I want everybody to continue to remember, we are still holding our levels. It might have pushed us up and brought us right back down, but didn't bring us down to where we were. We're still a leg up, or perhaps two legs up from where we were. They still have to fight to bring us underneath that $4.86 sense level that I've been telling you about for months now. <sighs> However, it's going to be interesting tomorrow watching the rate hike, even though that the market has already factored that in when the CPI data was released. See, a lot of retail doesn't know this. Uh, people wait until that happens and think that what happens on that day is, oh my God, the rate market didn't even know what was happening. But they already kind of induced that within so that tomorrow is going to be just nothing but a possibly a pump because you saw the spy I called it for you today I told you we we're gonna hit that uh, 456 uh, range where we were at 454 and guess what we hit 456 we did come back and get rejected off of it however we didn't come down below that 454 and 75 cents or 50 cent that is which is the support, the resistance level that we had to go through anyways to get uh, to up the upper band of the 456. Now, if the market can keep that or make that as support, then 456 is nothing at this point because by the end of this week, you'll probably be seeing us flirting, if not anytime even sooner, with the 460s. Uh, again, the all time high, not the 52 week high, we made that today. The all time high on the SPY, on the SP 500 ETF, is. 468 and some change so i think that's within sight the markets want that before they do any crazy bubble burst uh, which all of you should keep looking at and make sure that you get your slice of the pie on that one don't like don't waste that opportunity that's coming up again i'm not a financial advisor i'm just giving you some insight and intel into what could possibly be brewing and how could you possibly make your portfolio uh, a whole lot better and fatter. Um, last but not least, I gave you guys in the community tab some of my expectations. I said that these plays is Google, Microsoft, and then Snapchat, which is something I YOLO'd in. You guys saw on there, by YOLO doesn't like went in with four or 500 bucks. It's nothing, I already told you it wasn't gonna be much. Why not? Uh, however, the technicals was very mixed and the indicators were very mixed signals on the place. So I did get at particularly one correct, which is Microsoft. Google beat expectations by crazily margin. Uh, Snapchat is losing about a third of its company's value, which means tomorrow ab has got to make sure he uh, saves at least whatever, 200 bucks out of that four or $500. It ain't no, it ain't a thing. At the end of the day, it was a great day trades that I had today and I was able to gobble up more AMC. Can't wait to see what earnings for Q2 is going to be in August, which we will talk about. More importantly, look at the trend of what's happening because Q3 is not expected to be good. And I think that's where the main shocker is going to be. Uh, we got big movies coming in. And even though a lot of people are not really looking at it that way, I think we got a lot of shockers in the way. That being said, enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll catch you guys tomorrow on the battlegrounds. Much love, AB Investments.